Welcome to the lesson on Algebraic Identities. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define Algebraic Identities State Standard Algebraic Identities and apply Standard Algebraic Identities to solve problems. Let us consider two algebraic expressions. We will combine both the algebraic expressions with an equal to sign. Now let us see. Are two algebraic expressions really equal to each other? Let us check the value of algebraic expressions in LHS and RHS for value of an A equal to 4. Upon putting value of A equal to 4 in LHS, we get 7. Upon putting value of A equal to 4 in RHS, we get 7. Hence, LHS equals to RHS for value of A equal to 4. Let us check these expressions for any other value. Say A equals to 1. We find that LHS equals minus 8. Upon putting value of A in RHS, we again get minus 8. Hence, LHS equals to RHS for value of A equal to 1. In fact, for any value of A, this equation will have LHS equal to RHS. Hence, this equation is an identity. An equation that is true for all values of the variables in it is called an identity. Let us take another example and check if it is an identity. Substituting value of A equals to 2. We find that LHS equals to 4 and RHS equals to minus 1. Hence, LHS is not equal to RHS. Substituting value of A equals to minus 2. We find that LHS equals to 4 and RHS equals to minus 5. Hence, LHS is not equal to RHS. Hence, this equation is not an identity. There are some identities which are used frequently. Such frequently used identities are called standard identities. Let us check our first standard identity. It states that A plus B whole square equals A square plus 2AB plus B square. A plus B whole square can be written as A plus B multiplied by itself. Upon further simplification, it can be written as A multiplied by A plus B plus B multiplied by A plus B. Solving further, we get A square plus 2AB plus B square. Similarly, A minus B whole square can be written as A minus B multiplied by itself. Upon simplification, we get a square minus 2ab plus b square. Product of a plus b and a minus b can be simplified as a multiplied by a minus b plus b multiplied by a minus b. Upon further simplification, we get a square minus b square. The next standard identity is product of x plus a and x plus b is equal to x square plus x times a plus b plus ab. Rahul is puzzled as to how to find the square of 4.9. Let us help him out. 4.9 square can be written as 5.0 minus 0 0.1 whole square. Let A equals 5.0 and B equals 0 0.1. Upon applying standard identity, A minus B whole square equals A square minus 2AB plus B square. When we put the value of A and B, we get 24.01 upon solving. Find 985 square minus 15 square. We will use standard identity. 
a square minus b square equals to a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Let a equals 985 and b equals to 15. Upon applying these values and solving, we get the result as shown. Find 501 multiplied by 502. We will use standard identity x plus a multiplied by x plus b equals to x square plus x times a plus b plus a b. Here, x equals 500, a equals 1 and b equals 2. Upon applying these values and solving, we get the result as shown. At the end of this lesson, you are able to define algebraic identities, state standard algebraic identities, and apply standard algebraic identities to solve problems. Visit ATEC Academy on www.atecedu.com or contact on 904